Good morning guys, this is the first vlog I've started at home in a while. Um, we got back from Italy last night, I'm gonna sit down. Let's sit down for this intro. We got back from Italy last night, um, we've been out there for Mike's sister's wedding and I've just woken her up and I'm the first one awake in the house, which doesn't happen very often, let me tell you. Uh, I can't believe River's not awake. I was thinking maybe it was because, of that, I mean, there's an hour time difference, it's not a lot. But I was thinking that was maybe why, but then I realised Italy is an hour in front. So it's quarter to eight now, it would be quarter to nine there. Maybe she's just exhausted and happy to be home, but she's still asleep, which is amazing. Um, because I can basically get up and get all the stuff done that I need to get done for the day. Um, well, not all of the stuff, but I can like get started on the day earlier than she is there needing me so she's still asleep the packing situation it's dire i'm just going to show you the suitcase the suitcase sitch so this is the current unpacking situation we've basically taken our dirty laundry out and that's about it so we got back at about three o'clock yesterday afternoon um i might make a crack on this whilst ribs is still asleep um this is the kind of thing she very much likes to help with but does not help at all i.e. pulls everything out of your suitcases and puts them all over the floor. But first, I'm gonna shut these guys up. Did you hear that I'm awake and I haven't come to get you? Good morning. Hi, sweet. We've now got the whole team unpacking. Stuff everywhere. Dogs are not helping. Piglet is being a downright nuisance. Coming back from holidays, hey guys. Ha <laughs> ha. So I'm probably looking even rougher now. I've just had a shower. Um, and I'm on a dog walk, although the dogs are kind of, I don't know where Piglet, oh here she comes, here she comes, we haven't lost Piglet. This little squishy is in her um, buggy trying to get her to sleep, she's just had a major throwdown. This hat, how adorable is this hat guys? I don't know if you guys can see but it's got two pom poms as ears and it's just the sweetest thing that's from Next and it's pretty much, she's worn it kind of like when she didn't really need it but it's been the first time that it's actually cold here um so she's wrapped up all cozy with her hat on it's so autumnal i mean the sound is probably really horrendous because of the wind but check this out guys autumn is officially here hey squidge yeah where did you get that ball from come on pig come on are you coming she's like hell no i've got my own thing going on come on piglet so I've been the world's worst vlogger today and I basically haven't vlogged. Um, I went, ended up going to, well, I had a load of stuff to film this morning, so I filmed, then went to Bista Village with my friend Libby. So instead of vlogging it, I, f I had River with me and it was all just a bit manic and I was supposed to vlog and I just completely forgot. Um, I thought I would do a little haul video and show you what I got instead and I hope that's okay. And I'm gonna make this vlog two days as well, so I'm gonna vlog tomorrow. Um, but. I went into, Mike is reading a book to River. Actually, I got a new book for Riv, and he's reading it to her. I say reading it, it's like a, it's like a touching book. But he's showing it to her. Having fun reading, guys. It's not a very good story, my <laughs> It's the Moomin Touch and Feel book from the Tate shop in Bista, which River actually loved. And then I also got a couple of other books from the Tate shop. I got the little book of Chanel, which kind of, it looks like one of those books you have just for looking at but it's actually got some really interesting photos and it looks like it'll be a really good read so I got that and then I also got this book which says read this if you want to take great photographs it's basically a photography book um, which I thought also looked really good so I got those and then I also popped into the little white company and got a dress for Riv it's actually like a little jumper dress I thought this would be really nice for winter and the Christmas season because it's kind of sparkly it's got like a cable knit top and then it's just like a little jumper dress and I like that it's got a tiny little bit of baby pink just on the very very edges I thought that was quite sweet and that was 50% off so it was reduced from 32 to 16 and then I got a dress. So it's from Bash, at least I think that's how you say that brand, is it? If anyone knows then let me know but um, B-A and S-H, Bash maybe, I don't know. So um, did, uh, and did, 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 more importantly, did, did you get me anything from this then? Nope. Oh. So this is... This is my dress, it's like a black satin. And I thought this would be really good for the party season coming up. It's kind of like a um, like a tuxedo style shirt, but it's a wrap around, like wrap dress. It's got a really wide 
tie belt, which I think is really pretty. And then it's got this kind of, it's kind of like a pineapple, but I don't know, like a chainmail and embellished detail on the side. And then it looks like that. So it's hard to see. Maybe I'll try it on for you tomorrow. But this was reduced from, I think it was 500 and something pounds to 200. So it was still quite expensive, um, but it was massively reduced. And I think it will be amazing for the party season. It's just like a really good little black dress. The little one is finally asleep. We've got a lot of mess to clear up, to be honest. I'll do that in a minute. And I'm happy to report it's Mike's turn to cook tonight. When you ah, say it's ah, my turn ah, to ah. cook tonight, you mean every night it's my turn to cook tonight. <laughs> Pretty much every night. As per usual, we are doing HelloFresh. This vlog is actually sponsored by HelloFresh. As you guys know, um, we've worked with them before and we have been using them for, I think it's like six months now, which I- Is it really six it, months? It genuinely, That's because- Gone quick. It just, the t I, don't know where, I don't know where this year has gone. Can I say, I, I really what? enjoyed last night's. Did you? It was good, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I, I, I knew it, I knew it. Okay, so I'm gonna do the little spiel. If you don't know what HelloFresh is already, um, it's a meal kit delivery service where every week you pick how many meals you want. We get three, three meals a week, arrives at our door on a Sunday afternoon, and then we have three dinners sorted for the week. And honestly, for us, it has been a lifesaver, especially this year, having little one. And Mike has been working much later. It's just been, so much harder to get to the supermarket and get everything sorted. So it's been awesome for us and we are completely converted and have talked around many, many family members and friends into getting it as well. And we're really excited that we're gonna be working with HelloFresh for the next few months as well. It's generally one of those um, kind of collaborations for me that I get overexcited talking about it on a personal level, so to be able to talk about it on YouTube and it be an actual collab is just like a dream come true. So, um, anyway, we actually did a shoot with them uh, the week before last. Mike was involved as well and it was hilarious. We got Mike eating tofu. What the hell? Mike would never normally eat tofu. And that is another thing that I really like about HelloFresh. It gets you cooking with ingredients that you wouldn't normally cook. It gets you cooking cuisines that you wouldn't normally cook. So Mike eating tofu, last night is a perfect example as well. We had um, chicken laksa, like um, noodle soup stuff, which Mike was like, mm, I don't know if that looks that good. And he just said, it was delicious. Do I feel like the reason you like HelloFresh so much is because it proves me wrong every single time? <laughs> yeah, basically, it makes, makes sure that I'm right every single time. So you get, um, like everything pre-proportioned, so like all the ingredients, Mike is chopping them up at the moment, you get the recipe card, it shows you like, in super, like I mean, this is foolproof, it literally shows you how to make it. it shows you the finished dish on the back, which is also good because it actually always looks like the picture, which I was surprised at when we first got it. Um, so yeah, here are the rest of the ingredients, everything is all ready to roll, and you get like the perfect amount so that you don't waste any food, which is another thing for us is that a lot of the time when we are shopping in the supermarket and cooking, I end up throwing away so much food because we just never end up like finishing it. That's so horrifically yes. bad. I'm so gonna come back and show thing. you show you what Mike comes up with. Oh and if you haven't already signed up for HelloFresh, if you want to try it, you can get 50% off your first two boxes. This lighting is terrible. 50% off your first two boxes um, using the code Hello FDF. That's a cool code. I made that code up. It was a different code and I asked for it to be Hello FDF. Why isn't it Hello MDF? Maybe next month it will be Hello MDF. <laughs> I also just remembered I completely forgot to talk about what we're actually cooking. It's jerk chicken tostadas, which I'm excited for because we cook quite a fair amount of Mexican, but I would say pretty much Mexican. every time it's fajitas. That's the other thing, like I love that it gets you to try something different. Like this, it's not difficult. It's really easy, it's really quick. It takes half an hour. It also, the other thing that I really like is it gives you the full, if the focus will go, it gives you the full nutritional breakdown. Um, really good. So yeah. And shows you like what you're eating. Like if you're control. trying to eat healthily, portion control as well. Um, you can keep an eye on what you're eating, which I really like. Because if you're cooking just, you know, without a recipe or f even from I mean, a recipe book, they don't show you that. Can you please put it the other way? Sorry. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> it looks prettier that way. Did you know, Mike and everyone, that apparently some people dislike coriander. It's like a genetic yes. thing. I did know that. 
I, to me, coriander tastes like the most delicious thing ever. It's to very... some people, apparently, it tastes like soap. Which is a low point because I know. Out. I know. I feel, like, I mean, I feel sorry as for them. As a man that's missed out on a lot of things over the years, have <laughs> been fussy. You know, you're missing out. But sadly, if it tastes if like soap, if it's genetic, then, then what can they do? You guys. Whilst Mike is chefing it up, I'm going to go and sit down and do some emails. I thought you were going to say, right, well, Mike's chefing up. I'm going to do give him a drink. Well, you've got a drink. Another one, maybe. Do you want another drink? I might make myself a drink. Why not? Why not? Well, MDF, I think you nailed it once again. Success. It's looking pretty tasty. I'm currently sitting in the sitting room, as you do in a sitting room, with Treacle cuddling. Oh no, don't stop cuddling. Treacle never cuddles anyone. She literally sits on the other sofa every single time. I don't know what's come over you, Treak. You're so cuddly tonight. Look at you. You're so cuddly. Also having the debate with Mike about whether or not to light a fire because I think half past nine is an okay time to light a fire. We'll still we'll be up for a couple of hours. Why not? But Mike's like, no, we're going to bed in half an hour. I'm like, we might have a baby, but we don't go to bed at 10 o'clock. What do you think about this treacle? She'd happily stay in here all night. I'm not entirely sure what's going on tonight, but I appear to be the favorite for once. I've got all three dogs snuggling up to me and then Mike's sitting on his own. That's what happens when you're a grumpy git. You end up alone. If you lit the fire, maybe we'd cuddle you. No, not lighting in. It's too late. Well, well, well. Welcome to Friday. <laughs> this morning has been uh, one of those mornings. River has been particularly difficult, but she's now down for a nap. I look like I, you know, crawled out of bed at midday, but I didn't. I've been up for a very long time. I just still look like this because I haven't had time to do anything with my hair or my face. Um, however, some exciting deliveries have just arrived. I feel like these vlogs really make me look like I have not got a handle on life, do they? <laughs> I do sometimes guys, I promise. Um, but anyway, some exciting deliveries just arrived, which I thought I would show you. Um, I thought we'd do a bit of an unboxing because they're rather large. I was not exaggerating when I said deliveries. Um, I got three separate deliveries. One is from Amara, one is from Soho Home, and the other one is from Little Green. As you guys may know, Mike and I started redecorating our bedroom in June. And in case you were wondering if we'd finished it and just not shown you, no, no, we still haven't finished it. Um, so everything kicks off again. Basically, the decorator came in, did most of it, um, and then didn't have another free week to finish it off until now. So he is starting next week. We have the new light fittings, we have the new bedside tables, we have an ottoman, we have an end of bed storage, we've got the paint, and we've also got some Christmas decorations. So I thought we'd show you, give you a little bit of sneak peek, and I will actually show you when our bedroom is done, I'll share some pictures of it, or maybe vlog it, who knows. Um, but yeah, thought we'd do a little update, a home update, let's do it guys. <laughs> Okay, so this is what was in the first box. This is a nest table, it's a bedside table for our bedroom. There's actually another one in one of these other boxes, which I'm not gonna show you opening because it'll take forever, but I really, really like these. We've gone for a lot of um, kind of natural, kind of, what would you call it? Like antique brass, I guess. Um, and I really like the hammered finish of these. They've got like matte black legs. I haven't actually shown them to Mike yet and I'm hoping he's gonna like them too because I just ordered them whilst he was at work and he didn't get to look at them, so fingers crossed he likes them. But they are the bedside tables. Let's see what else we've got in here. So this box is the Christmassy box. I've got a silver wreath, which I'm going to like jazz up for the door. I've got lots of garlands because we're hosting Christmas for the first time this year. And so I want our Christmas decoration to look extra fancy. I usually do, above the fireplaces, I usually do um, like a nice decorative like arrangement out of um, cutoffs from the Christmas tree. But I always use uh, like false flowers and baubles and stuff to kind of fluff them out a bit so that, and make them look nicer as well. So there's a few of those. There's some amazing, um, fairy lights which are actually I don't think that's in here these are baubles oh my god look at these so
so beautiful. I know it's early for Christmas decorations, but I was looking on the Amara website for the um, bedside tables and they had loads of good Christmas decorations. So I ended up ordering some uh, in advance because it's gonna come around fast. And I also ordered these, which I'm excited to put. Um, I kind of want to do them like above the front door. They're like hanging LED lights, almost like the icicle ones. There's a gorgeous pine cone and star wreath as well, or garland even, to go um, above the mantelpiece. And then lastly, how cute is this little wooden advent calendar? I'm gonna make Mike's advent calendar with his favorite chocolates this year, which I've done a couple of times before, but I thought it would be nice to buy a wooden advent calendar that he can have every year because he always gets a bit jealous. He says he wants the chocolate ones, but he always gets jealous of my beauty ones because they look fancier and they're like a little box and everything. So I thought this would be cute. Okay, I'm a little bit out of breath after that. These are to go, this one is to go at the end of our bed. I actually thought there might be storage space in this and there's not, but that's fine. Um, that's to go at the end of our bed and it's in the most beautiful, like kind of zigzag rough linen effect. I didn't want these in too pale a color because I know for a fact the dogs are gonna jump on them. Um, so it's like a pale color, but it still has texture, which I think is making the camera go crazy. Um, and then the round one is for the middle of our dressing room, which is next door. So there they are <laughs> in all their glory. Our bed, which I also, we got delivered months ago and we still haven't put it together because it's not finished. Um, we want to wait until the decorating's finished before we put it up. It's also from Soho Home and it's their Dean Street bed, which I'm going to show you. I might show you in a minute. Actually, I'll take you upstairs and show you the headboard because it is gorgeous. Or in fact, I'll just insert a picture here so you guys can see um, because ours is still mainly in the box, but it's gorgeous. And I think this will look so nice at the end of the bed. Okay. So it's taken me quite some time to unpack this because each of these individual um, glass thingies were um, bubble wrapped by themselves. But this is what the chandelier looks like. As you can see, the bottom tier is like sitting on the floor. So you can't see that just yet. Again, I'll insert a picture here of what they actually look like hanging. I'm not gonna get the second one out now because it's just taken me like 40 minutes to unpack this one, but I'm super happy with them. I think they're gonna look absolutely perfect. Um, but yeah, that's what they look like. They're actually a little bit different to the ones. This is the thing with Soho Home. They often say like, as seen in whichever Soho house. And this is actually the same, sorry, River's trying to grab the camera. This is the same light fitting that they have in the Soho house Chicago bedrooms, but it is actually slightly different. It's the same kind of design, but it is made differently, um, which didn't surprise me because like looking at the style of the ones in Chicago, they were crazy, crazy high end. Like um, I would have thought there'd be thousands to buy. So um, yeah, I was pretty happy with this. But yeah, I think it's gonna look amazing. And also, instead of showing you the boxed paint, which will be completely useless, I've come upstairs to show you the swatches. This is the color that we're going for. You're all right, bubs. <laughs> She's not happy at being left on the floor, which is little green pearl. And then we're going for this color in our dressing room, which is dark pearl. As you can see, at one point in its life, this room used to be a very similar color to that. Um, which is quite funny. So the other one that we painted is French gray, which is too gray because I wanted like a greeny color, but I'm super happy with those. So they're the two colors we're going with. And then the bed is here actually. Like I said, you can't really see because it's all boxed up, but I'm super excited. And then we have the pile <laughs> and a cat. Hello, Growler. We have a pile of our old furniture in the middle of the room, which has been here for a long time, including the old curtains. Anyone want some Tassley curtains? Um, I actually don't think we're gonna be putting these back up. I think we're just gonna roll with it without curtains because the windows are kind of super nice on their own, like really, really beautiful. So I don't think we're gonna put curtains back up. We never close curtains. And even if we do, these windows actually have shutters. So um, that is what we're doing. And you have rolled in poo. Yes, you have, Missy Moo. Stinky dog. So, supermarket trip over, still looking just as disheveled. I bumped into a subscriber, a really nice one actually, um, in Waitrose. I was like, this could not be a worse time. Um, I'm cooking some tea now. My brother and his family are coming over for dinner. So I went to the shop and grabbed ingredients for spag bowl and I'm gonna cook that. Mike is on his way home. And I think we're gonna be carving pumpkins. My little nephew Arthur is apparently very excited about Halloween. 
and has pumpkins to carve. We're looking for a pumpkin inspiration. Wait, wait. Um, that one with the yeah, eyes that would be pretty good. easy to do yeah that, Spider that's spider-man yeah it's like webbing on his face or trump what about that yeah donald trump yeah doing a bat yeah what yeah. else are we doing it's not a bat, what, it's, can we do one on this one yeah this is daddy's what what's daddy gonna do on his one oh, he's gonna we've like got another little one we're gonna make a oh, a skull to go inside then have this one yeah. cracked open and all the stuff skull. spilling out. Yeah, I'm gonna have like two. Whoa, that's pretty spooky, Arthur. Uh. Whoa, look at it. Oh Whoa, epic. This little one just had to have a bath because she had rolled in poo and she was stinky. And now she is in a fat strop. Piglet. Pig. Someone's decided now she wants to be my friend. Hey, Piggy Wiggy. I am going to put on A Discovery of Witches, my new favourite show, and then head to bed because I am super tired. I will see you guys very soon. I hope you enjoyed the vlog and I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Bye.